Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly painting. And yeah, in the in the my last video of Ask Victor, uh, I was asked what colors I will use to do uh, jade stones. So first, what I wanted to look is how really the jade stone uh, or the 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 jade jewelry is looking like. And here we have some uh, jade stones of made of jade, and I see that there is the color can change quite a lot. We have here, for example. That is quite a, is, is a mixture between pastel green uh, and yellowish. But then we have here what I think is the most typical jade. That is more this whitish green. So I see that we have we have different approaches. I guess it will depend on what type of jade you have. Uh, I will try to do more, almost one of these and one of these. So something on the most traditional jade. I also make a search on jade weapons. And yeah, there is a mixture of everything here, but we see that this is more or less the most common jade uh, with a lot of You see that it's not a uniform color. So I will try to figure out how to do it uh, uh, I think it's this is another good example to make jade So I will go for something like that most likely a color that is looking like that uh, I don't know if this is really what the person have in mind. I am realizing that jade it can be, but for me this is really the, the jade color, so this is what I was thinking about uh, jade, when I think about jade was something like that. I'm also thinking on the Buddha and also all this type of things, so uh, this is also uh, old, web. this is really jade, okay, so, but this quite can be quite challenging to do. So I will do, uh, based on this color, I will try to do the best I can to simulate that. And now let's go to the brush and I will show you what to do. But here you have uh, some examples of jade. So each time I try to look for a new thing to paint, I really go to Google and try to figure out how jade can look like. So we have from quite very bluish to something that is more greenish, yellowish. So it's quite uh, tricky. Okay, but I will I will go more something like that. Not that bluish is what I showed before. Uh, let me see if I find it again. Uh, so yeah, so more similar to this or to this type of stone here in the middle. So let me and yeah, in case this is not what you're looking for, please leave in the comment below and I will try to do it in a different colors. So now go, go, let's go to the brush. So here I have two weapons where I will try to do this jade color and the first color that I'm going to use is uh, this color from here. No, we'll start with um, Cavalry Green. So Cavalry Green is very like, very like jade. It's similar to the old jade color from Genji Workshop as well. So uh, for me it's a little bit too dark but we are going to play a base of this. Okay, on both weapons. You can see that is a type of green that does not cover perfectly on top of the black, but it's not a big issue. I just primed this this weapons by brush. Just did them for the purpose of this tutorial. So here we go. Just apply this layer. And we wait until this dry before doing any other thing. So we use this as a base. Okay. So here we have one. Right. This is a dwarf axe, but it doesn't matter. We're going to play here the jade. This is going to be quite similar to the color I use for my for the armors of the armor of my stone cast eternals. So this the, the thing is that we also think that the jade well, any any type of mineral rock or this type material when it's polish will go we will at least satin and most of the time it's, it's glossy. Depend depends how much you polish. Okay, so 
normally we should think this is a polish uh, glossy surface and then I'm also going to do here a couple of J uh, gemstones yes as a part of the exercise these are not going to be traditional gemstones because the jades in that case are opaque are not transparent so the light is reflecting in a different way So I will wait until this dry because if not I'm just moving. We'll do a second layer and I come back once this is done. So once uh, Cabalit Green have dry, we are going to start working with Sibari uh, Green uh, to do the first highlights. Okay. So we are going, and then remember that we want like glossy thing. So we first I will go for quite sharp. Highlight. Okay. We are going to do especially the top. So I'm quite sharp now. Remember this color is still too dark, so the, the base color was too dark for, for jade normally. Normally jades are more lighter, so we are going to, to mix we are going to use a wet palette to help us on, on the mixture. So what I was doing now is just to uh, know where I want to do the, the, the strongest highlights. Then we are going to work on shade on the other part. So let's imagine that the light comes from the top. Um, yeah, let me just take the wet palette and I will mix my colors here. We are going to use as well Gauss Blaster Green as the last highlight. Now I prepared the colors on my wet palette uh, and we will start working on that. So I also, just as a reminder, uh, I will use Gauss Blaster Green, I will, I'm using as a base color Cavalier Green. Uh, I'm using Sibari Green as well. Oh, these are the colors I'm using from Google Workshop. On top of that, I'm using also white. So you can use any white, of course. And any similar color to this, to this is just to give idea what colors I'm using. So let's imagine we are going to do like a glossy point here. Okay. So you, this is the one we paint. Jade should be a, a high reflective thing. It's, it's going to be polish. Almost just like, I would say, like painting non metallic metal in a way, but with, with green colors, right? 
So it will go here. Okay. On the top I will put some green. And this will depend how the weapon is oriented on, on the ca on, on the character carrying the weapon. For the purpose of making this tutorial easier, I will just focus on this blade here. Okay, so I will focus on 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 this side of the blade, and then on the gem. So I will I will do this, and then maybe in the next week I will do the sword, uh, just to to keep this simple. So. I'm playing no Gauss Blaster Green, remember the lighter color is Gauss Blaster Green and then we go to Silver Green and the what's called the other Cabalite Green. Okay. So you want this to be quite thin down and you want to be able to mix it. So you can smooth in the transitions. We are going to keep the, the, the bottom darker and the top lighter. And we are going to do more or less the same here. Let me see if I can go. Let's see if I can zoom a little bit more. to still do this edge but we are going to keep just next to the edge so you can see this edge is going to be darker next to the edge I'm going to apply this color to transition softly. Sorry, I missed it here. I'm going to refresh this. Now I'm taking a little bit of the mixture. this from the top to there ok 
Okay. Now I'm going to add white on the strategic points. So you want to add white. And over here. Here. Now what I will do is I take a dark color. This is how you can do the, the jade, right, with one side and the other. So then, if you want to do even gems or these rivets, the jade is not like glass, it's not, the light is not flowing through the jade, so just apply the top lighter, leaving the bottom a little bit darker. So. I go here light, right there, and then you apply a white point at the end. Okay. The jade is not, we say, is not glass looking one, so should not. We cannot. We should apply like if it's very extreme highlight, but using the following the normal. As well on this rivet here, if we have the right point there. We apply. And then we can apply white. Okay, let's imagine that we do the other side as well. So then what we can do, we can add, as you want, you can add like so, is more. So you can add, for example, here, where we have the transition. Okay. And I would suggest that you finalize this with a gloss varnish. So let's do the other side of the blade. So we are going to start with the same with the case. Again, first to see what it's doing. We are going to apply the mixture at the bottom, not darker. Here what I will do is I will apply 
Let's leave more of the lighter color. Then we are going to do the same on the other side. You can give this side darker and for example you can do the white more on this side. Give the white for example, in the case give the white here. Then we go with the green. We finalize with dark green. You can be a little bit irregular if you want, because the, the natural things are not. And this is super, suppose that it is reflecting some light from the surroundings, so it can be a little bit irregular. Again, important thing on the jade is that to think that is not a transparent gem is an opaque one, right? And this is why I'm highlighting like that, leaving the bottom dark. If it's a glass, you want to do the bottom a little bit, and you can keep this side, one side of the blade darker. Maybe you can do this side of the blade. Let's do, let's play it like that. So we are going to do one side of the blade darker and the other one lighter right so like the light is in, it's coming from from this side sorry I was from this side here right so if that is the case in the middle thing okay on this thing you want to do this side here lighter and keep a very strong and dark line on this side. Okay, let's do that. So we do this side here. We do a quite light point here, then we can do darker on the other side. We can wait, we can do this even lighter on the top. Going pretty dark at the bottom. Even going darker, reaching a very dark then we use a little bit more of the white go like that. like that. Here it's impacting the part and in this part should touch this part here. Right? We keep the side of the blade darker but even if it's darker we are going to apply a little bit of the lighter color here. Okay? Something like that. We are going to apply Something like that. And then on the blade, I will not use the, the, 
take out frosted green, I will use the silvery green in the blue contrast. And this is how to do. So I, I hope I did not do too much. This is how to do a jade looking weapon. So I hope you. I think I move too much there. So this is how I will do it. So I hope you find this uh, tutorial interesting. And this is how to do high contrasted axe. And now I'm wondering I should use this in one of my heroes. So I really like that. So this was more an experiment for me as well, uh, as well I was trying to to mimic, more or less to find the bright point. So, and and to be fair, when you paint, I, I suggest you to to look real things in internet, so you can have an idea how this look like. But I think this is pretty nice. So I really like how it's looking like. And I hope you find this interesting, so how to do this uh, type of jade looking. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Let's see if it's focusing. No, it's not focusing. Here it is. So this is how to do this type of jade looking. Remember, this is not glass looking, because it's the jade is not a transparent... Jamestone, it's a uh, opaque one, so the light is not dry. Is not. It's you should use more like metal techniques than really uh, glass techniques. And that's all for now. I hope you find this tutorial interesting. Please leave it in the comments below. What do you think? And as usual, yeah, looking for your comments. Give a like if you have liked this video. Uh, yeah, and thanks a lot for watching. And see you again later. Bye.